I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand what are mutually exclusive events and then we will find the probability for mutually exclusive events. So let us first consider what are mutually exclusive events. Now we learn that we have a sample space whenever we are working with. Now in this sample space if we have more than two events let us say we have two events. Let me define two events with circles. Let's say we have these two events. And these two events could be something like this. Or in a sample space, uh, we could have two events like overlapping, correct? Uh, for example, we could have events like, like this. Now, first set of events are called mutually exclusive events and the second set is non mutually exclusive correct so that's the that's the basic difference between the two right so let us say we have these two sample spaces s and the events are a and b in this case what is the intersection of a and b number of elements let's say n a intersection n b is basically a null set right there is no intersection however here intersection of a and b is all this so what we see here is that these two events which we have done in the first case they can be treated as disjoint events these are different terms which you may come across that means there is no common connection or I could say nothing is common right in short nothing is common between the two when we say common we are trying to look for common elements right no common elements and such events we have already defined as mutually exclusive events right so these are the mutually exclusive events as shown here in a sample space we define two events and there's nothing common between those two elements that means no elements are common between those two events in that case the probability of event a or b so there are two elements a or b will be probability of a plus probability of b correct and this is a principle which we also call as an addition rule. So let me write down here addition rule. So in case elements between event A and B are not common, then we can apply the addition rule to find the probability for mutually exclusive events. Uh, let's take up an example here. Example could be, let us say we throw a dice like this. We get just one number, right? We get number four this time. So when we throw a dice, we get one number. Let us say we are looking for probability of getting four or, or let us say more, more than four, okay, more than four. Clearly the way the question has been framed, there is nothing common between the numbers. We have numbers one to six, right? So we have numbers one to six. So we could get four and more than four means five and six, correct? So, so we have one element which is four and more than four in standard die will be elements five and six. As you can see, B has five and six, four has eight. There is nothing common, right? Therefore, probability in this case will be probability of getting four plus probability of getting these two five or six right now there's only one four out of six so this probability is one over six plus five and six there are two so it would be two over six when you combine them you get your result which is three over six or half correct let me write here so that becomes the probability okay now let's talk about Two events which have something in common right so that means if these events happen 
in that case they have something common so let me write down that they have uh, intersection or common elements so these are not disjoint function you can see the intersection there in that case number of elements in a plus number of elements in b will be what will actually be equal to i should say i should write this as uh, uh okay common elements means number of elements in a plus b i should say a or b i should say okay so let me rewrite this okay so the common elements we are trying to say is uh, let me rewrite so what we are trying to say here is that the number of elements in a or b is equal to what is equal to number of elements in a plus number of elements in b well if you add them up this intersection part is being added twice so you have to take away the intersection elements so number of elements which are common to both a and b that is a intersection b right so that reminds you of something right this is the principle of inclusion okay principle of inclusion and exclusion so the idea here is when we add all the elements of a with b we add these common element twice and therefore they should be taken away correct so in such cases what is going to be the probability so in such cases as the number of elements you can see when we add them we have to exclude those which are common probability in this case of event a or b will be probability of event a plus probability of event b take away probability of event a and b do you see that a and b is intersection of a and b right so that is how the probability will be now let me take an example for this also let us say again we roll a die we get number three okay so let's make a question based on this now so we're trying to make a question we want to find probability of getting uh, let us say numbers uh, odd numbers okay odd numbers or probability of getting numbers prime numbers okay so when we roll a die we're looking for probability of getting odd numbers or prime numbers now in the case of this dies right in the case of this dies as you know we have numbers from 1 to 6 right let me rewrite these numbers here so the numbers which we have is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now let's say event a is odd numbers right so the so the event a set will have numbers like 1 3 and 5 right and the event B has prime numbers. Prime numbers, 1 is not a prime number. 2, 3, and 5 are, right? So 2, 3, and 5. Correct? So here, what you observe is that if I have these two sets, in that case, there are few common elements. So if this is my set A and this is my set B, then the numbers, 1 is in a 3 is in both right so let me write 3 here 5 is also in both and then 2 is here so that is how the situation is in our sample space do you get this in our sample space let me write this s here sample space correct and the numbers which are not included will be written outside correct will be written outside which are number 4 and 6 that becomes the scenario which we have now what is the probability of rolling a die and getting odd number or a prime number now one way to do it is when we see this we have one two three four numbers right so since we have four numbers the answer should be four over six or two over three is that okay 
now that is correct now let me apply this formula here so we are trying to say it is probability of event a plus probability of event b take away probability of event a intersection b is it okay now it is inverted u kind of thing probability of event a we have three elements in a out of six total space right total space six so this is three out of six plus in b we again have three elements out of six take away intersection two elements three and five so two out of six so now it is three plus three is six six out of six right so we get six out of six minus two out of six and that indeed is four out of six or two out of three so we get exactly the same answer do you get it now uh, these were very simple questions and therefore it is easy to visualize and understand now once we have understood this concept we can take some interesting examples and apply these principles right so remember whenever we are talking about uh, more than one event right so so let's talk about this once again more than one that it, that is it is not simple right it is not simple it is compound event then these compound events could be mutually exclusive or non-exclusive right so they could be mutually exclusive or non-exclusive right so we could say non-mutually exclusive okay okay clu siv okay non-mutually exclusive as you see we have to understand the scenario these are the two events which are mutually exclusive since they have nothing in common if they have something in common it becomes non-mutually exclusive for more examples could be uh, when you draw a card from standard deck of 52 cards then if you are looking for probability of drawing a red card or a face card then there are many face cards which are red so we have to take them away like this okay now if you say what is the probability of drawing a king or a queen there's nothing common correct in that case it is mutually exclusive so there could be uh, different scenarios so you have to understand the scenario and then find the probability as we did in this example i'm anil kumar and i hope it helps you to understand the very basic concept let's now look into few examples thank you and all the best